This is a bill that would cut off federal funding for any high-speed rail project that hasn't laid a single mile of track after a decade of getting federal support, which is uh, certainly true of the California High-Speed Rail Authority. Uh, that's uh, a project that voters authorized back in 2008, and uh, I've been a vocal opponent of it since the very beginning because uh, there is absolutely no way that that system will ever operate without an ongoing taxpayer subsidy. Uh, and it's been a boondoggle from the very start. It was supposed to be done by 2020, so four years ago. It was supposed to cost about $33 billion, and uh, they, st they still have not laid a single mile of track. The cost is ballooned now to over $130 billion, so four times as much. Uh, and right now, uh, they're, they've limited the project just from Merced to Bakersfield, which is, I mean, just crazy. It blows your mind that, that we're still pursuing this. So we're, uh, my, Mike uh, and I are working to cut off federal funding to that because it's, uh, it's you know, completely unconscionable that we're wasting taxpayer money on this. And if you want to contrast it with something, look at what Brightline is doing to connect Las Vegas to Rancho Cucamonga uh, via high-speed rail. I mean, that's a project. It's going to be finished on time, uh, and it's not going to require a single dollar of taxpayer subsidy to operate. And uh, that's what happens when you let private industry take, uh, you know, take the lead in a project like this.